What is up, mates? My favorite five and I here, and today I just want to show you my new keyboard. Look at the box, it's still shiny. But until we do, I just want to explain why I've not been uploading very much recently. Basically, the if you can see behind me, the Smiling software open up on my uh, latest video that I've been editing. I finished editing it, editing it a while back, and I've been trying to render it, but it's not been working been crashing at 75% right so what I did is I real time rendered it which is where it renders but the video plays in the background with the sound and everything and at 75% which is where it kept crashing it kept going it kept rendering but the sound cut out and I was thinking you know maybe it will uh, maybe it will work maybe the sound will be there after it's finished uh, but no uh, it just crashed at 100% instead so I went back into the editing software and I cut cut out the uh, a little bit of the part where the sound cuts out. And when I did that, I would try render, rendering it again, and it worked. So literally, three days after I finished editing, I finally got the video finished, and it's gonna go up, uh, not today, probably, maybe even tomorrow. I'm gonna try to upload it just as soon as I get videos out, I'm gonna upload them now. I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna fuck off this time scale. You know, it's good th uh, Tuesday, Thursdays, and Saturdays. It's a, it's a good, you know, you get decent space between videos and that. But they're just, you know, it's, uh, it's very difficult to keep that at the moment with all, all the stuff that's going on. But anyway, uh, that's why I've not been uploading recently. So we're gonna we're gonna unbox this. Uh, Corsair Gaming K55 RGB Gaming Keyboard. There's the front, there's the top, there's the side, there's the other side, there's the bottom, and there is the back with another picture of the keyboard. Now I'm get I've got this because this one, you can see it, it's just naff in it. It's just rubbish. It's it's not comfortable to game with. The type typing's fine, um, but it's very bland and boring. And it's an American layout, so like some of the buttons aren't in the right places for us English folk. Uh, so all right then, let's get into the box. Where are my manly ass scissors? I don't know where my my manly scissors are. So we're gonna have to just take the manliness to the next level and use this here nail file. If you're new. The reason they're called manly scissors is because they're pink. And you know, it takes a real man to wear pink. Oh, by the way, I'm wearing a Superman t-shirt today. I want to see Justice League. I've heard good things and I've heard bad things. Apparently it's better than man, uh, Batman v Superman. So, you know, yeah. <laughs> so, so, open it up. And wow, we're straight in there. It's, it's there straight away. No holding Corsair back. There's the keyboard, this lifts up as well, there's nothing under there, but it is hiding our, I'll take this out of the packaging straight away, yep. this is our, our uh, fucking rest, I expected it to be a bit more rubbery, very flimsy, but very, you know, solid, if you know what I mean, it feels very solid, but I expected it to be like, like a rubber sort of feel, it's a very hard feel. Shot this over here. Uh, we've got a uh, warranty guide and stuff, and then that's the box. The box is into one piece of cardboard, look, it just falls out. And there you have it. This is my second Corsair product. Uh, my mouse is Corsair, and I, I love my mouse. It's very nice. Uh, off comes the plastic cover. It smells like licorice. Anyway, there it is. Corsair K55 RGB keyboard. It, um, it's very, it just looks like better. The buttons feel better. Uh, I don't know if you can hear this, but. Yeah. Now this, um, which surprised me, um, my mouse, you had to download a software on the computer so that you could you know, program the little buttons. But these buttons here are all programmable by pressing, I think it's the MR key. I'm gonna bring you up closer so you can actually see this in all of its glory. It is very nice, it feels very nice. Uh, this thing just clips on the bottom and dangles. Obviously it'll be on a flat surface, so it'll be like that. But that's the keyboard and it's full. What I like about Corsair as well is how cool does this USB port look? Look at that! How cool is that? And what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to plug it into my computer and unplug my old keyboard. And then I'm going to plug my old keyboard into the front so I can get to it easy. And show you the colour difference. And uh, let's do that now. <laughs> Back. So, it's plugged in. It's... 
All set up and ready to go, apparently, according to Windows. Sweet, let's just minimise this. So, what are you caught on? Let me get this and plug it through here. I just wanted to show you. So there we are, that's the colours. This is my old keyboard. It served me a very long time, but it's... Shut the fuck up! But it's... It's very scruffy, it's very... Very flimsy. You can see the lights through the bottom look. I don't know if you've heard of a Oula? 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 Now this is... A new one. Look at all of its many colours and stuff. Now the colours on the kit, on the course there, aren't as bright, I don't think. But I think that's good, because it gets dark in here. Um, if I'm sat playing on the uh, computer, and the uh, lights go out outside, okay, the sun goes down, and I haven't turned my lights on, I can't see the keyboard, because they shine so bright, can't see the letters, and I'm not, I'm only like 90% away of where all the keys are. When these come off, the light does shine through the letters, which is pretty good for me. But then obviously, as I was saying, in the dark, it shines through so you can see. But yeah, it also has different um, different colour settings. I don't know how to do that. But it's unplug in there. That can probably be given to a friend in need or something. Let us figure out this colour scheme thing. Because the whole flashing looks pretty cool and on, on that on display. But not for me, I'm afraid. FM1. Red, green, and blue. I don't know if you can see that. FN1, green, red, and blue. FN2, yellow, blue, and purple. Um, yellow, sci scion, sorry. FN3, that looks pretty cool. Every number is a different colour up to seven, which is just off. I don't know how to actually change the colours to what I want. <laughs> ah, look. Ah, so you press FN and F1, 2 or 3, change the colours to the keyboard. So yeah, I'm very happy with this, it feels very, very nice. It's a bit longer, uh, wider, sorry, than my old keyboard, the extra numbers. Let me load up, like, notepad or some shit. Yeah, it's very nice to type on as well. But yeah, very happy with that. Sweet! Ah, but yes, it's been Mega Swift Game 59. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have, please remember to smack that like button and subscribe. And I will hopefully see you in the next video, which hopefully will be part three of my 007 Agent Under Fire series. Links to the other two parts in the description for the other channel. I'll see you when I see you. Peace.